They're pretty strong, huh? Yeah. I love this company. I mean, the quality in all of their products, it's insane. I honestly don't know how NDS is still in business, to be honest. I just, it's garbage. I think the only reason why they sell their junk is because it's in the big box stores and people don't know there's an option. Yeah. That keeps the, the frost from heaving that. That is sweet. Nice clean out. Nice 12 inch round clean out love these things this makes it so practical as a location where you want to be able to access your yard drain now there's a difference between a French drain and a yard drain a French drain has stone a yard drain does not so keep that in mind we're putting in a driveway drain and I'm worried as far as organic materials being collected from the trees around. So I want to put this in so that we can easily access it in the event that there's a lot of big leaves that end up stuck in the discharge line. You can drive over this basin and everything. I mean, this thing is made really strong. And there's no way the frost can push it up. Yeah, with the legs on there. Yeah, very nice. It's nice stuff. Man, that is some heavy, heavy material, man. That is really strong. This is our 24 inch round basin. It is the strongest basin on the market. The cover, you can drive semi-trucks over it. You can also get it in a heavy-duty grate. So either way, solid cover or grate. Risers. If you end up needing a riser, we have risers that are 12 inches tall. We have risers that are 6 inches tall. And then we have risers that are 3 inches tall. So you can literally really tweak the 24 inch basin to whatever it is that you need now look at the options just look at the many many options talk about a hub look at that talk about a d-box i mean there's so many things you can do with this that's the solid cover and you can also get it with a grate Definitely nothing tougher, nothing stronger than this basin, period. All right. One of my personal favorites, the 20 inch. I really love this basin. It's one of my favorites. So solid. And if, uh, you know, you're not going to use it for a D box, but you need a really big inlet either or this also has risers sold separately but six inch 12 inch if you're in a situation where you need to make the basin deeper and you have both hands, <laughs> not one holding the camera, but you have both your hands. There. These drop in place really nice. Look at that. You know, and then in here you you screw it, screw it down so that it's fastened really nice. And then again, depending on your system and what it is you're building, whether you need an inlet. Or just a solid cover so I guess let's just go over why I like this one so much one super speedy to take a razor blade and knock out the two six inch whatever your choice is wherever you end up the giant heavy-duty 24 
it doesn't have any six inch so you have to use a six inch hole saw you know it's not the end of the world and then you gotta you know buy some pieces for the six inch what i love about this is you just take a razor blade and whether you want it to tie in up high or a little lower super diy friendly contractor friendly you know they all come with the four inch gaskets and nuts there but sold separately are the six inch definitely my favorite basin one of my favorite basins here now if you're a sub of this channel you already know this but you're looking at two of my favorites the 12 round i love the solid cover for the d box then that way the when the, you know the earthworms can't get in here and mosquitoes can't get in there and end up with larva hatching and got this uh, petri dish that's terrible for the children and the pets in the family so i'm a huge huge fan of this d box 12 round and look at the height you know it's uh, just under 16 inches and it's given me so many choices you know this is all four inch all this is four inch hookups love them so for outlet basins same thing exact same thing you know all these choices so however low your pipe is to get the slope bang you know go ahead take a razor knife cut it out and then if you end up too deep you know obviously you got to take the cover off that goes right on you screw it in place and then put the cover up here so six inch risers so i absolutely love those big fan you see us using them all the time all right so we have the nine by nine you see this a lot we use this a lot i like this because the grass won't grow over it as fast as it will like a pop-up or say a six inch round so there's more surface area i really like it and this is for four inch pipe only it doesn't work very well with six inch pipe now you guys see us using these two what do i favor one over the other four Okay, so this one's shallow when the line is shallow because I'm not going to come back up to tie in because now you got a belly. It's called a belly and it's going to stay full of water. And here in the north, that's going to freeze solid come winter. So this is 16 inches tall. It's got five different choices as far as take a razor blade and just knock it out wherever your pipe hits it. I love it. So when our pipes are deep, I love this. This is like the no regret. However your slope ends up, whatever you do for downspouts, this one's always going to, you know, take care of you. And if you end up deep, six inch riser goes on top. So love it. Shallow or nine by nine. All right. So you've seen us use the 12 by 12s. We use them for uh, six inch. They accept six inch right there now they only come with the four inch gaskets i don't know why everything that takes six inch doesn't come with six inch gaskets and nuts that stuff sold separately is what it is and then here's the d-box i love this thing super cool d-box love it no worms can get in it which is just god awful man talk about something talk about a stench uh, and then no mosquitoes and, and their larva. So I love the D-boxes with the solid cover. This one takes a six inch pipe. So, you know, 12 by 12 inlet basin or solid cover D-box. And six inch risers are available as well for these.